So, in the market, there is an action seller, there are two or few or more buyers. Then, this market called monopoly market. Monopoly market, the product is not actually a seller, but the max is not a seller. It is not a seller, but the buyer is not a seller. So, this product is not a seller, but there are only two sellers, but the buyer is not a seller. So, this product is not a seller, but the buyer is not a seller, but the buyer is not a seller. Market price, actual net profit, or sales price. Amra highly organized 
প্রাইস মার্কেটে কি দেখছিলাম যে এক অপশনে আসে সেলার অলরেডি একটা বেস প্রাইস বলে দেয় ওটার উপর ডিপেন্ড করে যে যত প্রাইস হয় সেভাবে করা হয় এইখানে কি হয় জিনিসটা কিন্তু কাইন্ড অফ সিমিলার আপনি ধরলেন যে আপনি মার্কেটের জন্য 10 ডলার দিলেন আরেকজন বলল 5 ডলার দিলেন আরেকজন বলল 15 ডলার দিলেন সো কি হয় মার্কেটে যখন এই সেলার বা প্রডিউসার সার্ভে করে সার্ভে করে দেখে যে তার এই প্রোডাক্টের জন্য কয়জন কত ডলার দিবে দেখা গেল যে 10 ডলারই হচ্ছে ম্যাক্স মেজরিটি দিতে চায় আউট অফ 100 মেজরিটি 80% 10 ডলার দিতে চায় সে সে তখন কি করবে তার যদি প্রোডাকশন কস্ট প্রফিট শুরু 10 ডলারে শিখতে পারে সে প্রোডাক্ট কি 10 ডলার প্রাইসে সেট করবে না সো যে কোনো প্রোডাক্ট এর জন্য ইকোনমিটা প্রডিউস করা লাগে ডিমান্ড রেডি করতে হয় সো ডিমান্ড যদি আপনি ইনফরমেশন ধরে আপনি এমন হয় যে মার্কেটে যদি বিভিন্ন সময় স্যাম্পল দেয় অনেক প্রোডাক্ট দিয়ে পুরো নতুন প্রোডাক্ট আনার সময় আপনাদের দেবে মার্কেট সাথে যারা কিছু স্যাম্পল দেয় ইউজ করার জন্য বা টেস্ট করার জন্য তাকে আপনাকে একটা সার্ভে করতে বলে যে আপনি প্রোডাক্টটা ইউজ করে কত প্রোডাক্ট হ্যাঁ অনেক সময় আমাদের মোবাইলে পাঠায় বা গুগল ফর্মে আমাদের ফর্ম পাঠায় কেন করে বিকজ দে ওয়ান্ট টু নো দা মার্কেট দা ডিমান্ড অফ দা প্রোডাক্ট কত তাকে এক হাজার প্রোডাক্টে দিবে সো এই পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেটে আমাদের তাহলে প্রাইসটা কিভাবে সেট হয় বায়ার মাল্টিপল বায়ার এন্ড মাল্টিপল সেলার মাল্টিপল বায়ার দ্য ডিমান্ড এন্ড হিজ সেলার কত টাকা সাপ্লাই দিতে পারবে এটা কন্ট্রাস্ট হচ্ছে পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেটে প্রাইসটা সেট হয় বাট দা প্রোডাক্ট ইজ সেম সো দুটো ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিক্স ক্লিয়ার পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেটে ইয়েস লেস কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেট প্রপার্টি ফর্ম অফ দা মার্কেট ডিফারেন্ট লেস কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেট এন্ড আচ্ছা জিনিসটা হচ্ছে পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেটে যেটা বললাম যে হচ্ছে অনেক সেলার থাকে হচ্ছে অনেক বায়ার থাকে লেস কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেটটা হচ্ছে আপনার কাইন্ড অফ সিমিলার টু হাই অর্গানাইজ মার্কেট সো ওইখানে দেখা যাচ্ছে যে সেলার কম বাট হচ্ছে বায়ার আর বেশি মনোপলিতে কি হয় আইদার ওয়ান অর ম্যাক্স টু এর বেশি সেলার হবেই না লেস কম্পিটিটিভ কি হয় ওখানে সেলার একটু বেশি থাকে মানে পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ এর চেয়ে সামান্য বেশি থাকে ঠিক আছে সো ওইটাকে আমরা বলতে পারি হচ্ছে আপনার ওটাকে নরমালি অলিগোপলি মার্কেটও বলা হয় আপনাদের কাছে কিন্তু মার্কেটে একটা ডিফারেন্স পাওয়া ছিল এটা পাওয়া ছিল মার্কেটে চ্যাপ্টার যখন পড়ব তখন আর কয়টা ক্যাটাগরি পড়ব সো আপাতত মার্কেট মার্কেট রাখেন দুই জায়গা হচ্ছে মনোপলি মার্কেট একটা হচ্ছে পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেট ওই মার্কেটটা আমি যেটা বললাম লেস অর্গানাইজ সেটা অলিগোপলি বলা যখন মার্কেট চ্যাপ্টার পড়ব তখন আমি বেশি পড়ব ওটা আপাতত মাথায় রাখা দরকার নেই ঠিক আছে দুই লোকের পড়া দরকার হচ্ছে মনোপলি যেখানে একজন বা দুজন ম্যাক্স সেলার থাকবে বায়ার অনেক সেলার থাকবে আর একটা পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ যেখানে অনেকগুলো সেলার অনেকগুলো বায়ার থাকবে সবাই সেম প্রোডাক্ট নিয়ে কাজ করে আর এই মার্কেটে প্রাইসটা সেট হয় বায়ার মাল্টিপল সেলার আর মাল্টিপল বায়ারের ডিমান্ড এন্ড সাপ্লাই কন্ট্রাস্ট করে তো এর একটু क्वेश्चंस আমি সব সময় আমার স্লাইডে আপনাদের কিছু স্যাম্পল क्वेश्चन দিয়ে দেই যেগুলো আপনাদের एग्जामে এর মধ্যে একটা क्वेश्चन আসবে ইটস ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট আমি অলরেডি বলছি আমরা আপনাদের অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট 1 দিয়ে দিয়েছি যারা নতুন এসেছেন আপনারা ক্লাসমেটদের কাছ থেকে ডেডলাইনটা জেনে নেবেন আর টপিকটা জেনে নেবেন অ্যাসাইনমেন্ট সম্পর্কে ঠিক আছে সো দেখেন क्वेश्चनটা হচ্ছে হোয়াট ইজ আ মার্কেট হোয়াট আর দা ক্যারেক্টারিস্টিকস অফ আ পারফেক্টলি কম্পিটিটিভ মার্কেট সো ইজি সিস্টেম ফর क्वेश्चन রাইট মার্কেটটাকে বলেন কম্পিটিটিভ So you will say that there are different types of market, perfect company, perfectly competitive market is one of them, but there are others such as monopoly market. Then you will say about the definition of monopoly market, of the characteristics of monopoly market. Here? Market market is the market. Market is the actual 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 market. আর আপনি যদি মিডল ফাইনাল অ্যাকশন করেন সো আই হ্যাভ টু নো যে আপনাদের एग्जामটা আসলে কত মার্কস এর পায় ওটার উপর ডিপেন্ড করে দেন আমি আমি হচ্ছে আপনাদের মার্কস দেব ওকে এখন আসুন আমাদের আজকের চ্যাপ্টারের মেইন টপিকে দ্যাট ইজ ফার্স্ট পার্ট উইল ডিসকাস अबाउट ডিমান্ড টু গেট এন্ড দ্য সেকেন্ড ক্লাস উইল ডিসকাস अबाउट সাপ্লাই
Normally we know what is demand. Demand is a certain right for product. With a specific price, uh, a consumer will buy one quantity of that product. But what is quantity demand? Availability will be quantity. Quantity demand is basically how much one consumer is willing to buy that product with a specific price. Like, if you have a lot of ice cream, you can buy it for a lot of ice cream. If you have a lot of price, you can buy it for a lot of ice cream. So, that is your quantity demand. Clear? So, quantity demand is the is the demand a consumer have for a specific product. So with a specific price, how much product he or she is willing to buy. After you know that, I mean, if you are saying 10 taka, so I want to say 10 taka to buy, then I will max purchase price in the evening at time. That means after the demand of the 5, quantity demand. That's why it's called quantity demand, because it's equal to know the quantity of the product you are willing to purchase. So that's why it is called quantity demand. Clear quantity demand. A product in the world of chill. I mean, first or second class sector, law correction, right? The relationship with price and demand. What was it? Jarakuran, Adi class correction, Jarakuran. The relationship with price and demand. This is the price of a pen. Price decreases and price increases. What will have the effect on the demand? Price will be demand to will. When? Price will be. Now see, this is called a demand. 
Mark's schedule. If an exam, there is a table like this and it says show the relationship between price and demand. Then you have to draw this schedule and explain it as well. Okay? So the question will be like this. There is a table given and show the relationship between price and demand, explaining uh, or drawing a demand schedule. Okay? So you can that in. Price and quantity will I'm giving the account mark, account which I'm just price and quantity the other day. You have a wrong number shape the other day. Okay. That is fine. Check on this one, I'm going to start with the zero. Okay. So, if I'm going to get price and shutting in the bottom, which is the ice cream code, I'm not relation to the account. Captain is on the bottom, which is only actual individual demand is on the other side. For a single individual, catching her demand for ice cream when the price goes up or the price goes down. So, catching in her different ball of chair, drop on her price of chair, zero dollar cutting. That means when the ice cream is free, zero dollar cutting means what? When the ice cream is free. Then, catching will maximum consume fuel ice cream cones, right? So, you are being good. Some of the demand is the demand line that we have it, from 0 to 12, right? This is our line for 0 dollar and 12 quantity. Now what will happen when the price increase from 0 dollar to 50 cent? Then what happens? What's the quantity? 10, right? Kind of like this. This is the point. So what happens? Price increase from 0 to 50 cent and the demand already decreased, right? The quantity was 12 when the ice cream was free, captain was having 12 ice cream max. When the price increased to 50 cent, captain decreased the consumption of ice cream to 10 quantity. That means some of the price is quantity negative relationship. Price got changed, so quantity won't change. Price is increasing, so the quantity is decreasing. Now what happens? Next up, one. One cover? So we see price I to follow, price increased a bit and the quantity decreased a bit. Then one dollar fifty seven. The quantity is Six. Six. Then. Four. Four. Okay. Four. This is the last one, right? So it has quantity of two. Okay. Then. Okay. With the three, with three dollar, when the price increases to three dollar, see, Captain will not buy any ice cream. Zero quantity, right? So the point will be from three to zero, right? So another point will start the book. Quantity will be twelve. The quantity is twelve and price is three, right? So the demand curve will be like this. Here, you must do the scale and the total scales. So you see demand card is downward slope, right? With price, demand decrease. That's why demand card is always downward slope. Because price and demand have negative relationship. So this is our demand card. Clear? So this is how we create, we schedule a demand card, we draw a demand card. After I just explain, you have a problem. Explanation of the event, of the event, when the price of ice cream was zero. That means the ice cream was free. The captain, as an individual, was consuming to the ice cream. When the price used to, when the price was increasing gradually, our demand for ice cream was increasing gradually. When at a point of $3, the ice cream price was $3, then captain stopped using or consuming any ice cream. 
but the quantity would be the market demand, the sum up of every individual. Okay. So it is going to be shown to and according to that you have to draw a demand curve and you have to explain it as well. And if it is for short question, then you will have to say just draw, then just draw. And if it's explain like briefly explain it say, then you have to explain. The market demand is the people of cash in average to the no, not average, sum up. The price same, but the quantity is the sum up of. For the individual people. Now we are seeing the market demand. Okay. Tell me the price first. These are the same, right? And what about the quantity? Hmm? Yeah, but there is a reason. 
সো এই ছোট জিনিসটা মাথায় রাখবেন যদি জিরো পয়েন্টের কোনো কানেক্টেড থাকে দেন ইউ हैव टू ড্র লাইন লাইক দিস বাট যদি এখানে কোনো টাচ পয়েন্ট না থাকে দেন কিন্তু এই লাইনে কোনো পয়েন্ট টাচ করবে না লাইক মানে ডিমান্ড কাজটা কিন্তু টাচ করবে না হরিজন্টালি আর ভার্টিক্যালি ওনলি সিঙ্গেল লাইন হবে যদি 90 ডিগ্রি এখানে পয়েন্ট ইফ না থাকে তাহলে জিরো ইফ ইট ওয়াজ সামথিং লাইক 2.5 
It's not right. So, inflation. Inflation is what you Every day. Every day is what you want to do. So, there are very different reasons. There are very different reasons for which demand can change. Why change is what you want to do. How will you present those changes? You call it shifts in demand curve. Shifts in demand curve. Okay. So, our price of our law of demand is equal to the price of quantity. Price of the demand is equal to the price of the price of the price of the price of the price Price increase, demand decrease. Price decrease, demand increase. This type of relationship. But in shifts, shifting in demand curve, what happens? Except price for other reason. If demand change, then what happens? This is our actual demand. For sale, the demand for ice cream is fair. Okay? So the price is constant. Three dollars. Okay, the price is constant. The ice cream demand is dead. Now, what happens if it's winter? When it's winter, people tend to buy less ice cream. For obvious mm -hmm. reasons, they prefer hot coverage, right? Then what happens? There is a change in demand, but price is same. The price is not changing. But still, we are cha changing. We are seeing changes in demand. So then what happens is demand curve shifts to left. When demand decreases, when demand decreases, then the demand curve shifts to left. Here, for some reason, from winter now it's summer again and it's pretty hot. Then people are buying more ice cream now. If the demand increases, then the demand curve shifts to right. So its demand increases. These are the quantities, okay? So, if for price demand change, then the card, 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 card is like this. But, except price, for other reason, if demand change for the product, the price is not changing, the price will remain the same. But, for different various reasons, demand can change. Then what will happen? If demand increase, the shift will uh, shift, the car will shift right, and if demand decrease, the car will shift to left. Here, this is called the shift in demand. We will see the reasons later, but understand the concept. Other than price, if demand changes, then the scenario is like this. Yes. No. Price will remain constant, but other things change. And in law of demand, the price changes and other things remain constant. So these two, two things you need to understand. In law of demand, the price will change, but other things will remain same, constant. In the shift in demand, other things will change, but price will be unchanged. Price will no longer be changing, but for some other reason, when demand changes, if the demand increases, the demand curve shift right. If the demand decreases, demand shift, the uh, demand curve shift to left. Clear? So this is what exactly saying here. The shifts in the demand curve. Except price for other reason, if demand shifts. Then, if demand increases, it shifts to the right. If demand decreases, it shifts to the left. Now, tell me what could be the reasons. Change in weather. So, change in weather could be one reason for products. <coughs> Income can be one thing, right? Then, people <coughs> taste change over time. You are not like that product. Like you, you like uh, pop sticks. Now, you are grown up, so you don't like change pop sticks. Yes. yes? Is it technology? Yeah, change is technology. So there are various factors when demand can change. But there are five common factors which you usually see, uh, see that demand changes for these five reasons usually. But there are, can be multiple factors. So what are those? First one, income. I said about it. Your the what car was working one like a car, a car right? So, you can put effort that car, you are buying that car. When your income drops, you sold the car. You are not, no, you are no longer ability, you, don't have, you don't have ability to buy that car. Then what will happen? The price is same, one lakh, but your income drops. That's why you are not buying it. 
So demand increase. There is nothing in relation with the price, but with income. So other than price, there are reasons, right? Let's be important here. Can you see one is normal goods, one is inferior goods? What are the normal goods? What do you say about the normal goods? What are the normal goods? Normal goods are those goods that you say with price, the demand shifts. Normal goods follow the law of demand. Everything we use, pen, pencil, paper, dress, food item, everything that we need for our regular life. That we call our normal good. Normal good is made of nature the key. The nature of normal good is it changed, it, it, it is applied the law of demand. It changes with the price. If a normal good price increases, demand increases. If a normal good price increases, demand increases. But what are the inferior goods? There are some goods which the law of demand doesn't apply. Product and price below same the demand, home low same the demand. If the price is more, the, pro the price is more, the demand remains same. If the price is less, the demand remains same for the product. Those are called inferior product. Home will have the product. Product will have the product. Product. Product will have the product. Bus ride. Bus ride to what? It can when your income is dropped, you are shifting from car to bus. So we can tell that an inferior product, right? From car you are shifting. But actually inferior product would be we can say salt, right? Water. No matter how much the price increase or decrease, we must have it. We will buy it, no matter what. So with demand, this type of product have no change. Those are we call it inferior goods. So those goods who does not follow the rule of law of demand will be called inferior goods. And those goods which follow the law of demand, we call them normal goods. Clear? So for normal goods, the law of demand is applicable. For inferior goods, price doesn't matter, demand, demand will be unchanged. If the price is more or less, doesn't matter, people will buy salt, people will buy water because it's their basic goods. So those will be called our inferior goods. Clear? Then see price of related goods. So how can the price of related goods affect demand? There are two things. One is substitute and one is complementary. What's the difference between substitute and complementary? When you say this product, this is a substitute. So alternate, substitute means alternate, right? This is a similar kind of product, like tea and coffee. So what happens? Right? So previously tea was $10, one cup of tea and one cup of coffee was $10 as well, right? So our main product is tea. So here, the price of, of coffee dropped to 5. What will happen? Demand will increase. Demand will increase for what? Uh, coffee. Coffee. But what will happen for the tea users? Demand will decrease the price. Why? Why demand will increase? So these are tea and coffee are substitute product. These are the same kind of similar things. If the price of coffee drops, People who used to buy tea, they will shift to coffee, some of them. So, that can actual product, the demand for actual product is not changing, right? The, the actual product price is same. But, because the substitute product price is changing, that's why demand for tea is dropping. But tea, the price of tea is not changing itself. Its substitute product, coffee, its price is changing. That's why tea's demand has been hampered. Mr. Mr. Actually, I'm a product, I'm a product price, much of a consumer, I'm a substitute product, shape and price, I'm a product, I'm a product, I'm a product. So, it will be called for demand for related goods. So, substitute product price, depending on the substitute product, the actual product's demand can increase or decrease. Clear? So, it has nothing to do with the price of the actual product. Clear? This was for substitute. What will happen when it's a complementary product? When we say it's a complementary product? 
Onion sugar. Complimentary. Acta shakti atta. Right? You cannot use one product except another. So, we said computer and software. Tea, uh, tea and sugar can be, but some, some of us take tea without sugar, right? That's why I am not considering it, okay? So, computer, software and hardware. You can buy a computer, but without software it's useless. You can buy a software without hardware it's useless, right? So, these are complementary. So, what will happen? When the computer was hundred dollars, the software price was fifty. For some reason, the price of computer dropped. Then what will happen for the computers? The price of computer dropped from hundred to eighty. What will be the demand of the computer? More, right? So computer demand will be more. What will happen for the softwares? Those who are buying the computer, they will buy more software. So the demand for software will also increase. So see, software has no no relation, right? So the price of software is not increasing or decreasing anything, but its complementary product, its price is decreasing. That's why the demand for software is also increasing. So complementary product is high. So if the complementary product price is high, then it will have impact on the actual product price. So here. So, with related goods, the demand shifts in two ways. For substitute, there is one of the another way, that is complements, there is another way. Okay? Okay, so our class time is up. We will discuss about the next uh, topics in the next class. Okay? So, we will have three more topics for shifts in demand. Only think the topic as well. Masha Shabha Dekha Shabha Nikhtu. And I will next class, Masha Shabha Nikhtu. And I will supply and shift goods. So, Amada H. After that, do the content, demand and supply. Demand and shift goods, supply and shift goods. So, any question about today's class? Hmm? No?